Teaching eBug allows children to explore the history of vaccinations. At Elmbridge School, pupils wrote and performed a play about Edward Jenner's discovery of vaccines. Edward Jenner was born in 1749. As a young boy, Edward enjoyed science and nature, spending hours on the banks of the River Severn. What a lovely day for looking for fossils on the banks of the River Severn. What could be more fun? In 1770, at the age of 21, he began training as a doctor in London. Come in, come in. Thank you. What seems to be the problem, Mr. And Mrs. Smith? Well, Dr. Jenna, my husband has got himself a cowpox rash. What can be done for him? Also, Doctor, a friend of mine died last year from smallpox. He never had cowpox. Yes, do one, Mr. Smith. Well, I know lots of other people who have had cowpox and they never got smallpox. Do you think this means I won't guess it, Doctor? No, Mr Smith, you're not the first patient to ask me that question. I have my sp suspicions you are correct. I'll investigate the matter. And the good doctor did just that. When the milkmaid, Sarah Nams, came to Dr Jenner with a cowpox rash, he took the opportunity to experiment with the help of an eight-year-old boy, James Phipps. Doctor, I've got cowpox on my hands. Let me take a look at that, Miss Nams. OK. Right, young James, come here and let me have a look at your hand. What are you doing, Doctor? An experiment, Miss Nouns. I shall scratch some of the pus from your hand and scratch it into James's arm. You may go now, Miss Nouns. Thank you, Doctor. James fell ill with cowpox but soon recovered. Dr Jenner was ready for part two of his experiment. It was now that the doctor scratched some pus from someone with smallpox into James's arm. James, my boy, if all goes to plan, your name will go down in medical history. And what if it doesn't go to the plan, Dr. Jenner? I won't lie to you, James. You might well die. Oh. oh. But James didn't die. Jenner had guessed correctly, and in time his discovery came to be known as vaccination. He then went on to vaccinate all the local children with cowpox to stop them getting smallpox. Even today, his work is still recognised, and the Gloucestershire Royal Hospital even has a unit named after him. Three, two, one. Well